Hello everyone. Welcome back to Basic Beginner Yoga with Emily. In addition to the first set of poses from my last video, we're going to be going over these today. So grab a chair and or a block and we'll get started. Stand in Tadasana with your feet under your hips, toes facing forward. Lift your knees up, take your navel to your spine, bring your shoulders back and down and close your eyes. I'm introducing some pranayama today. It's breath work. And today we're doing a three part breath. So place your hands on your belly. And as you inhale, feel your belly expand. As you exhale, take your navel to your spine. Two more times. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, fill up the belly. Exhale, take the navel to the spine. Place your hands on your ribs. As you inhale, fill up the ribs. As you exhale, feel the ribs fall back together. Inhale, let the ribs expand forward, out and back. Exhale, let the ribs come back together. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Take your hands to your chest, just underneath your collarbones. As you inhale, feel your chest rise. Exhale, chest falls. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fall. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fall. And we'll combine all three breaths. Place your hands on your belly. As you inhale, fill up the belly, fill up the ribs, fill up the chest. Exhale, out of the chest, out of the ribs, out of the belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. One more time. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Relax your breath. Place your hands in front of your heart. Bow your head and thank your heart. Lift your head and open your eyes. For the next part of our warm-up, you can stay standing or take a seat. If you're sitting, place your feet under your knees. Interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you and lift up. Nice big stretch. Release the hands, switch the interlace of your fingers and press the palms away from you. Interlacing your hands this way might feel a little bit strange, but just go with it. Release, hold on to your right wrist and lean to the left. Gently look up, come back to center, switch the hands, exhale over to the right. Inhale back to center. Take the hands out to a cactus position and bring your right elbow under your left for eagle arms. Now if this is not comfortable for you, there's an option here to give yourself a hug instead. One arm is still going above the other. Whether you're in the first option or the second, lift the elbows up and drop your shoulders down your back. Take big breaths to expand the space between your shoulder blades. Gently release and we'll go to the other side, left elbow under your right. Again, you have the option to give yourself a hug instead. Wherever you are, lift the elbows up, drop the shoulders down. This is one of my favorite stretches because my upper back tends to get really tight. Slowly release and drop the hands down. Let's take some shoulder rolls to the back and shoulder rolls to the front. If you're standing, take a seat in a chair or on the mat and bring the outer edge of your right thigh against the back of the chair. Place your hands on the back of the chair. Keep your knees above your feet and twist to the right. Pull your shoulders back and down. If you're hunching them up, relax them down. A twist should feel nice. There should be no pain here, so don't push yourself too far. And rather than straining the neck and trying to look behind you, keep your head in line with your shoulders. 
If you're sitting on the floor for this, you can do this in a cross-legged position. Let's go to the other side. Place the outer edge of your left thigh against the back of the chair. Make sure your feet are under your knees. Grab hold of the back of the chair and gently twist to the left. Pull your left shoulder back. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. And again, relax your neck so your face is pointing where your chest is pointing. In any twist, inhale as you lift up and exhale, turn a little bit further. Follow your own body. If something doesn't feel right, take it easy. Come out of the pose. Release the twist, stand up, and make room in the center of your mat. So if you had a chair, move it over to the side. We're going to come into Tadasana, a mountain pose. Inhale the elbows out, exhale, step the feet apart. Turn your right toes out 90 degrees. Left heel back by two inches. And reach forward. We're coming into triangle pose, Trikonasana. So you can use your support of the chair, a block, or place your hand on your shin. Remember to lift up that right kneecap so the leg is strong and don't hyperextend your leg. Externally rotate your right thigh so your knee is following the direction of your toes. Bring the hand down, lift up back to center, come into warrior two for a moment. Arms go out and we come into side angle pose. Rotate the left shoulder back. Keep your right knee above your right ankle and press your left thigh bone back. If your neck is strained from looking up, you can always look down. Bring the hands to the hips, straighten the leg, let's come out of the pose. Turn the toes forward. Here's a new one for you. It's called Prasarita Padottanasana, or wide-legged forward fold, a little bit easier. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, extend your spine. Keep your legs strong and exhale, fold forward. We're hinging from the hips here, so your spine stays long. This pose looks different on a lot of people. You can have your support in front of you, so you can place your hands on a chair or two blocks, or keep your hands on your hips. Now your torso may be at 90 degrees, it may be above or below. Wherever you are, keep your shoulders back, keep your chest open. If you are close enough to the floor to reach, feel free to bring your fingertips, maybe even hands all the way down. And keep your head in line with the rest of your spine, so we're not looking up, we're not tucking the chin to the chest. Everything is in one line. If your hands were down, take the hands back to the hips. Keep your spine long and your legs strong as you lift yourself back up. Let's go to the other side with our lateral poses. Turn your left toes out 90 degrees. Right heel goes back by two inches. Reach forward and come into your triangle pose on the other side. Keep that micro bend in your left knee and externally rotate the left leg so your knee is pointing the same direction as your toes. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and breathe. Pull your right shoulder back. Place your hand on your hip, strong legs, strong core, come back to center. Bend the left knee, bring your arms out. Warrior two, straight into side angle pose. And rotate your ribs, so you're pulling your right ribs toward the ceiling. And pay attention to your neck again. If you're not comfortable looking up, you can look forward or down at your toes. Ground the outer edge of your right foot down. Let's come out of the pose gently, slowly. Turn your toes in, heels out, and come back into your wide-legged forward fold. Keep your legs strong, keep your spine long. And if you'd like a variation here, something I really enjoy is interlacing my fingers behind my back. If that's not comfortable, you can hook your thumbs and this gives you a nice shoulder stretch.
Take your hands back to your hips, keep your spine long, and come back to horizontal if you were below 90 degrees. Keep your shoulders back as you lift up all the way to standing. Let's heel toe the feet back to center, and we're going to go for some sagittal poses now. So a chair is really helpful here. For these next three poses, keep your feet on your railroad tracks. First pose is warrior one, step your left foot back, the toes are out by about 20 degrees, bend your right knee so it's directly above your ankle. Belly to the spine, shoulders back and down, lift the arms up and breathe. If your shoulders are fatiguing, feel free to take your hands in front of your heart. Keep pulling your left hip forward, right hip back, so the hips are squaring up towards your chair or your prop. Our next pose will be Parsvottanasana. Place your hands on your hips, straighten your front leg, no hyperextending. If you want, you can bring your back foot forward just a little bit for comfort. Pull your left hip forward, right hip back, keep your spine long, and hinge forward from your hips, come down to your support. Breathe into the back of your legs and think about keeping your hips in the same spot. We're going into our last pose on the right side here, revolved triangle. Place your left hand down on your prop, right hand goes on the hip, and open up to the right side. So we're coming into a twist here, Pavrita Trikonasana. This is a very intense stretch. Focus on your breath, take it slow. If it feels like it's too much, Go ahead and come out of the pose. Let's bring both hands down. Square up the shoulders. Keep your legs strong. Keep your spine long and lift yourself back up. Step your left foot forward and we'll go to the other side. Right foot back. Come into warrior one. Left knee is bent above your ankle. Right toes are out by about 20 degrees. Keep grounding your right heel down into the mat. Navel to the spine, shoulders back and down, bring the arms up, or take the hands to the heart. I prefer this variation sometimes when my shoulders are sore. Take two more deep breaths here. Hands to the hips, straighten your front leg. We're coming into Parsvottanasana. Again, you can step your back foot a little bit closer. Bring your right hip forward, left hip back, and keep your hips square as you hinge forward. You can keep your hands on your hips or bring the hands down to your chair or block. Revolved Triangle Pose. Bring your right hand to your prop, left hand to your hip, you can see here that I'm checking with my hand if my hips are level, if my hips are square to the front of the mat. When you're ready, you can bring your left arm up and your gaze goes towards your fingertips if that's okay for your neck. Keep pulling your left shoulder back and breathe. Slowly square your chest back towards the mat Hands on both hips, keep your spine long, and lift yourself up. Sorry, that wasn't the most elegant transition there. <laughs> We're going to come to a seat. So once you're sitting on your mat, extend your legs forward. Use your hands behind you for support. We're coming into Dandasana, staff pose. Pull the toes towards you. Spread the toes if you can. And use your hands behind you to push your lower back forward and open up your chest. A lot of people can have their hands next to their hips. My arms are just abnormally long <laughs> for my torso. So if you're in the same situation, feel free to take your hands a little bit further behind you. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. And we'll come into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Soles the feet together. Knees fall out to the sides. Again, use your hands behind you for support. And we'll focus our breath on the hips in this pose. Feel free to close your eyes. Let gravity do the work here. 
If your knees feel discomfort in this position, here's a variation for you. Just slide your feet forward so your legs make more of a diamond shape. Let's bring the knees back up. Make sure you have space behind you. And we're going to roll down all the way onto our backs. It's time for Shavasana, the best part of yoga. Feel free to keep your knees bent, especially if your lower back gets catchy on hard surfaces. Otherwise, we'll extend the legs forward, get comfortable, relax your toes, let your feet fall open to the sides, relax your fingertips, Inhale, take a big breath into your belly, into your ribs, into your chest, and exhale, let everything go. Relax your legs and arms. Let your belly be soft. Relax your neck and jaw. Unclench your teeth and let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Relax your lips and cheeks, eyes and forehead, and breathe. We'll be here for another minute. Come back to the breath, wiggle your fingers and your toes. When you're ready, slowly bend your knees. Roll over to your right side and stay in a fetal position for a few breaths. Take your time here, there's no rush. Use your hands to push yourself up and come into a seated position. Place your hands on your knees, roll your shoulders back and down. Close your eyes. Take a moment to thank yourself for coming onto your mat today. Arriving is half the battle. In yoga we say, the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. I'm so grateful that you joined me in your yoga practice today. I'll see you next time.